everybody, this is Betsy Veldman from Paper Tray Ink, and I am here with this week's Make It Monday. I'm going to show you an easy technique for creating watercolor backgrounds using stencils. You don't have to be an artist to create these pretty backgrounds, but it sure will make you look like one. So let's get started. I have a panel of watercolor paper here, and I have chosen three ink colors to use, and I have the refills here. That's what I'm going to use to do my watercoloring. I have Royal Velvet, Tropical Teal, and Limeade Ice. So you'll want to choose three colors uh, that kind of will blend nicely with each other. Um, so you could go with pinks and oranges, or blues and greens, purples, whatever you'd like. Okay, so I have little bits of those on um, a scrap of acetate here. I have a stencil from the Woodblocks, uh, Woodblock Print Stencil Collection, and I like to use a uh, sticky mat when I do this technique, such as those that um, you use with the die cutting machines. This is a, a Cricut mat that I'm using here. So I'm going to put my panel of watercolor paper oh, I made a mess. Put that on there. And what that does is it just helps to hold everything in place and it helps to hold uh, my stencil in place as well. I'm going to go ahead and lay my stencil over top of my watercolor panel. Make sure I get it kind of centered on there. And that adhesive mat just helps to hold that all in place. Okay, and I have a, just a regular uh, paintbrush round brush here and some water. Now when you do this technique, you don't want your brush to be really, really wet. So I have a paper towel here that before I pick up any of the re-inker, I'm going to just kind of uh, blot my brush on my paper towel so that I'm not picking up a ton of re-inker. But you can, what I do like to do is add some water to the, to the re-inker so that I can kind of change up the intensity of the color a little bit. And then you just really need to go ahead and paint over your stencil. Some of that color will seep under the stencil and that's okay, don't freak out about that. It just kind of adds to um, the watercolor effect. But that's why you don't want your brush to be really, really wet, or you're going to get a lot of seepage and uh, the pattern won't come through as nicely as you might like it to. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint over this whole thing, and I'll kind of work on changing colors as I go along and blending kind of blending some of these colors. Don't have to worry about, you know, filling in every space really, you know, nice and solidly with the, with the color. Because you do want that watercolor effect. And it should look a little bit, um, not messy necessarily, but a little more abstract. And you can see here I'm getting more concentrated color in the center and kind of allowing it to um, get a little lighter and a little more almost faded out as it heads towards um, the edges of the design. Okay, and 
now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab some royal velvet. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to some of that to kind of take down that color just a little bit. And here I'll pick up a little bit of the tropical teal again as I kind of head over into this quadrant so I can kind of blend the two colors. And if you go along and you notice your brush is just a little bit too wet, you can go ahead and kind of dab it on your paper towel and pick up a little bit of that excess water from your project. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that and we're going to pull off the stencil and see what we have. You can always dry off your stencil and if you don't like it when you pull it off, you can always dry off your stencil and put it back on and add more color. But yeah, there we go. We have this pretty watercolor background. It's just kind of a fun effect. Super easy. Uh, here's a card I've I finished with another panel that I did in the same, using the same technique. I just added a vellum circle over the top with a sentiment and some pretty flowers from uh, the Grand's Gardens uh, stamp set. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Just a kind of a fun way to get uh, a pretty watercolor background with no artistic skills needed. So thanks for joining me. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Ink.